If you are about to join somebody's Discord server, then you need to watch this first because there is one common mistake that so many people make when they are signing up to other people's servers to join their communities. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to tell you about in this video. Uh, I'm then going to tell you how you can join my Discord server and I don't want you to make this mistake as so many other people, including me, <laughs> have made before. <laughs> so what am I talking about? Well, if I uh, come over to a typical invite screen that you might get if somebody's given you an invite. Uh, by the way, I'll leave a link to uh, my server obviously in the description, but here it is just in case, takeonetech.io slash Discord. Uh, while you're there, you could also just check out the website, takeonetech.io, uh, and you can see it just up at the top as well. So you can just get it to it straight from here. So if you click on the Discord link or follow the direct link in the description of this video, it will take you to this screen. So this is kind of like the standard Discord server invite screen. So if you want to join a particular community or they are trying to ask you to join, then they'll send you to a screen that looks like this. It's got the name of the community in question. So here, Take One Tech. Uh, and then it's got this uh, thing here prompting you to enter a username. What should everyone call you, it asks. So you would think, well, there we go. I'm going to create a username for this particular community that I'm about to join uh, and click continue. What that's actually doing, though, is it is creating a new Discord account. So if you've never used Discord ever before for anybody else's community, uh, well, I'm very pleased that you are considering mine as your first. <laughs> um, and in which case, this pr process is totally fine. But if you are already a member of a community, uh, then what you want to do is come down to here. And I know that this might seem obvious to some longtime users of Discord, but there is this button here that says, uh, or this link here that says already have an account. And if you click on that, it is going to prompt you to actually log in with your existing uh, password. So that now has loaded up uh, this page where you can enter in just your, your uh, Discord username and password. Uh, or if you've got the Discord app on your phone, you can log in using the uh, QR code uh, uh, method like that. So uh, that is just what I wanted to tell you uh, because it is very easy to get mistaken and think that you would just be creating a password or sorry, a username for the particular server. But there is a way that you can create a separate uh, username in the server that you've joined. Once you have joined it, then uh, you'll be uh, into the server. So here we are in my server. Uh, and then what you can do is come up to the top and where it says, if you click on the little uh, drop down <laughs> here, this little drop down arrow next to the server name, uh, you do have something down here, which is uh, edit server profile. So uh, just come and have a look down here. Some servers enable this, some of them disable it. It depends on the server. But if you click on this one, then basically it's going to start with your uh, discount, uh, Discord username and then you can just change it to be whatever you want. So you can create a separate uh, sort of nickname just for that server. Uh, and you can also do some other things in here, uh, like change your bio and different things like that and uh, add a banner and various other different things if indeed they have enabled these on that server. Uh, so that is how you would be able to actually change your display name. So if you uh, don't want to use the same display name in different servers, you may have you know a business uh, server that you're a member of and some other different uh, clubs communities, whatever it happens to be, uh, or maybe even my server, hopefully. Uh, let me just stick that up one more time. <laughs> um, then you can always uh, change your name that way. So I just wanted to make this quick video, though, about that, because, as I say, it can lead to, if you uh, aren't aware of it, uh, I've seen a number of people where they've created multiple different profiles in the same server, uh, and they don't really even realize why it is. And that is because they've, uh, you know, can't get back into their account, can't get back onto the server. So they think, oh, I'll just click the invite link again and get in again that way. And so they create a new uh, login so it's often the case that there are sort of multiple different uh, uh, people uh, or one person with multiple different user accounts and so that is just the little bit of public information <laughs> that I wanted to bring to you today I hope you've found that useful I'll leave a link to some other discord related videos over on the right hand side so I'll see you in some of those <laughs>